So by all means, make yourself comfortable. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. All right, I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. You got caps. I got goods. I need to talk to you about our missing synth. So, you went dancing. This island's very confusing. I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Best deals in town. Well, really, the only deals in town. I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Yeah. It's not something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move along. I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L-792. Okay, I believe you. Keep it down, all right? It's real private information. I know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless, looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. I tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. Can you tell me anything else? I'm gonna need more information than that if I'm gonna find this synth. I wish I had more to give you. He disappeared into the fog, and I haven't seen him since. That synth could be wandering around out there right now, lost in the fog. I'm gonna need more than that. I've told you everything I know, all right? You think I wanted this to happen? Well, I didn't. Look, if you're really going after that synth, I'm pretty sure he took the road south out of town. Maybe you could head that way. Just be careful out there. And thanks. There are many who go out in the fog to help a synth, especially one they don't even know. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. I hope you can make it right.
in from the fog. Don't care if it's my lurk or man. I'm not looking for trouble. I just need to find someone. A young man with white hair. You help me, I'll leave. Yeah. We found him. One of the fog's creatures already attacked him. He was bleeding out, but... You know, why waste the meat? Here. Well, what's left? Take it. <laughs> now go. Don't come back. Someday more places in the world will accept us for the year. missing synth was jumped by cannibal trappers. He didn't survive. That poor bastard. That synth came here to live in peace, and we failed him in the worst way possible. It's my fault. I should have gone out there to meet him. Damn it all. I'm glad we were able to bring some closure to the matter. You deserve this. And... shall we say 200 caps? Sorry things didn't turn out better. I wish they had. You and I both. Thanks again for your help. Be safe out there.
Shield submarine base, that you're worried the Children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the Children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you... You're new to the island. What are you planning, Demon? Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the Children of Adam, or my memories? The Children of Adam on this island. You were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock, and a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the Children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent. And their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand. To give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the Children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the old command center, guarded by some pre-war security measures. You'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. So, how does this program work? There will be a fairly ordinary looking terminal with some... attachments. The program will give you access to the terminal. Once you attempt to obtain a memory, your perspective might... shift a little. Just relax then. The program will explain things to you as you need them. Actually, I already have the program. I was thorough. Well, I guess that just means I've picked the right person for the job. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. Turns out, Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the Children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're gonna find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. 
He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? 